Hey guys, my name is Anthony and I'm so excited to be here with you guys for week five of our Hit Pause series. We were hitting pause on our life in order to make room for God so he is first in our lives. And this week we're gonna be in Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 12 through 13. So I'll give you time to turn there. So grab your Bibles and turn to Jeremiah 29, 12 through 13. When you get there, go yip yip. All right, here we are. Jeremiah chapter 29. Then you will call out to me, you will come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. When you look for me with all your heart, there you will find me. Man, I love this verse. I love the idea of this verse that God is speaking to his people. And, and so when I read this verse, it reminds me that when, he, when, Jesus, when God says, you will come to me and I will listen to you, man, owning up to stuff is really, really hard. Because it, whether it's apologizing to a friend or apologizing to your parents, or even in this instance, apologizing to God, asking God for forgiveness, it's so difficult and I understand and I totally relate. And when I think, and when I read this verse, when I think about it, it reminds me um, of this story and I brought my friend, a duck, to illustrate this point. It, it, and it's a story called God and the Duck. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through the story and it talks all about God's forgiveness. And it, it, when we start out, when we look at the story, it's all about Johnny, this little boy named Johnny, and he's going to grandma's house. He goes to grandma's house and he was given his very first slingshot for the first time. This boy was so excited, he would take it out to the woods, take it out behind grandma's house, and he'd pull it back and his arm would shake. And every time he would miss. Every time he would miss, he wasn't very good. And he would get discouraged. He would try as hard as he would never hit the target. So one day when he was out in the woods, he was practicing, his arm was shaking, he'd let go and, and the rock would fly. He, he was so discouraged because he didn't hit one target. So he went back home with his head down, back to grandma's house. And he heard this from the distance, quack, quack. He got his slingshot pulled it out, shook his arm, and right before he let go, he realized, oh no, that's grandma's pet duck, and he let go, and wouldn't you know it, his aim was true, and grandma's duck fell dead, and he grabbed his head, and he's like, oh no, what have I done? So in, as he panicked, he grabbed the duck, and he threw it in the barn, and he's like, I don't know what to do, and when he looks up at the grandma's house window, he sees his brother Ben looking down at him, smiling. So what does Johnny do? And Johnny comes in the house, says nothing. And later that day, grandma is, is, is cooking food and she's washing the dishes and she goes, Ben, hey, I need help washing dishes. And Ben goes, uh, grandma, I, we got that taken care of. I think Johnny wants to wash the dishes. And Johnny walks by Ben and Ben goes, remember the duck. So Johnny does the dishes. Later that day, Grandpa goes, okay, kids, who wants to go fishing? And Grandpa says, no, 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 I need Ben to help me prepare dinner. And ben, and ben goes, no, 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 Johnny told me that he wants to help you prepare dinner. So he goes, oh, okay. And, and as Johnny walks by Ben, Ben goes, remember the duck. So Ben goes off fishing while Johnny helps Grandma with dinner. And later that night, when Ben and Johnny are alone, Ben walks and waddles and goes quack, quack, quack around Johnny just to remind him what he's done, that he's hiding. And if we continue in this story, they, right before bed, Ben had a song for Johnny. It goes like this, Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a duck. E-I-E-I-O, with a quack quack here and a quack quack there, everywhere, quack quack. And he had this song and he would sing it over and over again and Johnny would cover his ears and go, I don't want to hear it anymore. And that was the last straw. So Johnny mustered up all the courage he had and he ran downstairs to his grandma with tears in his eyes. He confesses to his grandma what he finally had done. And this is my favorite part of the story is grandma looks at Johnny. She goes, I know, I already saw the whole thing. And she, he goes, what? And with bigger alligator tears in his eyes and falling down across his face, he goes, what, you, what? You, will you forgive me? 
and grandma without even letting him finish says, Johnny, you gotta listen. There's nothing that you could do that could surprise me into not loving you. There's nothing that you can do. Of course I forgive you. And she gives him a big old bear hug. And as they're hugging, she, she says, you know what, and I, I was just kind of waiting to see how long you would do Ben's chores for. And I have a feeling this week, Ben will have a lot of dishes to do. Man, this story could be funny and kind of sad because the because the dead duck, but as we look through the story, I love grandma's response to Johnny. Grandma's response is, there's nothing that you can do that could surprise me into not loving you. And it's the same thing for us and God, because I know that owning up to stuff is hard. Like whether we killed a grandma's duck, whether we did the loud fart in the library, or whether we sinned against God, we did what was wrong, even though we knew what was right. But it says this in John 1, 9, that if we confess our sins, God is faithful and he will forgive us of our sins. God is faithful to forgive you and forgive me. And I know that owning up to stuff is hard. But man, this week, if you're carrying that, that, that burden on your shoulders, I know what I did wrong, I know what I did wrong, just like Johnny was. Man, this week, would you pray this prayer? Would you say, God, I have messed up and I've sinned against you. Would you help me change? Please forgive me. Just a simple prayer like that takes the weight off of our shoulders and we can know that God is accepting and loving of us and he's faithful to forgive our sins. So this week, would you go forth and would you go do that? We'll see you next week.